why doesn't Derek get banned for spamming the chat with the same comments over and over again? Because he's not an asshole like you. His comments are usually meaningful and have something to do pertinent to what we're doing. Um, when he does do it too much, the, the mods have warned him from time to time, don't overdo it. But he's a nice guy. Ah, is that more salt? All right, Derek, I'll see you when you can make it, man. I'll be, as you know, I'll be streaming this as the mainstream all day. Oh, that's right. It's uh, Chinese Lunar New Year, right? I forgot about that, Derek. Okay. Derek says Syndicate will have two awesome evolutions, Kilava and Typhlosion. All right. Well, oh, really? Derek says that Shinx evolves into Luxio. I remember Luxio. Derek says they have Ash Ketchum's name in this game. No, no, no. That's This is Ass Ketchum. Derek, this is Ash Ketchum. This is the ancestor of Ash Ketchum, the great, great, great grandfather of Ash. <laughs> Ash Ketchum. Yeah. Derek says Weasel is another really good move. It's called Sonic Boom. Derek says you have a Togepi. Misty has one. It evolves into Togetic and Togekiss. Togekiss? Derek, I probably know most of the original Pokemon theme song only because I have a musical brain. When I hear a theme song to a cartoon show or an ad and it's catchy, it usually sticks in my head and never leaves me. I mean that, too. Like, I never forget it. So that's probably I could probably sing the whole song right now if I felt like it. Wurmple will evolve into Silcoon, which, which it will evolve into Beautifly. If a Wurmple evolves into Silcoon, it evolves to Dustox. There's two different flying types. Interesting. Thank you, Jared. Jared says he likes Star Raptor because it knows Brave Bird and Close Combat. It also has a cool name, Raptor. Because, you know, that we know that birds are in the raptor family, right? And uh, they all originated from, from uh, lizards slash dinosaurs, which is kind of cool that they evolved two different ways. Absolutely, Derek. He says, we've had some really good names for Pokemon over the years, right? We've had silly names. We've had names of celebrities. We have cartoonish names. We've had names that, that have to do with the properties of a Pokemon. People have really been pretty interesting at, with naming Pokemon, for sure. Derek says that Boozeal is a water type and knows Ice Beam. So it has ice as well as water attacks. That's cool. All right. All right, Derek, he says he's going to try to be here tomorrow for the Pokemon stream, but he does have to leave a little bit on the earlier side because there's a Lunar New Year celebration. It's all good, man. For however, however long you can be here is cool. And then this is going to be in the regular schedule. I'm going to leave it to people to determine if they want this or Skyrim as a daytime stream or if this should be a nighttime stream. But never fear, if it's a nighttime stream, I'll be playing it several times a week, okay? Thank you, Derek. He says, yes. I noticed this, the stream has a lot of likes. 185 likes today. You know what? If we can hit 200 likes to the end, by the end of this stream, that would be nice. I'm not going to be crazy if we don't. I mean, we did so well, guys. Engagement today was really good, and I appreciate that. Pika Pika. All right. I agree, Derek. This game does have a lot of relaxing music. All right. Derek says, I'm happy to share Pokemon trivia and facts because I grew up with Pokemon myself, and I'm happy to hear it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Derek says Alakazam is one of his favorite Pokemon from Gen 1. Alakazam is a pretty cool-looking Pokemon. Derek says, I love re-watching the po Pokemon playthroughs on YouTube. Son of a bitch. Thank you, Derek. Yeah, he says, I'll try to stop by tomorrow. I was happy to be here for the premiere today. It was good to have you. It's always good to have you on the streams, my friend. All right. Oh, yeah, Derek is saying Tom Brady has announced his retirement. He has? Is that why he was crying like a baby when he lost? Derek loves Graveler and Gollum, which are two Geodude evolutions. <clears throat> Derek says, what are your favorite Pokemon catching in Gen 1? Uh, I would say Lapras. I would say, um, <clears throat> what's the one that always have, oh, Gyarados? Gyarados. I've always used Gyarados in every Pokemon game I've ever played. Um, and what was Aerodactyl? Yes, Aerodactyl. I used him a lot when I, I got my, uh, you know, prehistoric dinosaur Pokemon, or whatever they're called, fossil Pokemon. Yeah, Aerodactyl. Derek says Staravia will later evolve into Staraptor, which I mentioned yesterday. Cool. Derek says that Stantler's antennas look like eyes. They can release a scent. If you smell the scent, you'll become dizzy and confused. Jeez, the lore. The lore, the deep lore that Derek knows about Pokemon. And Luxio evolves into Luxray, says Derek. Cool. Yes, D Derek, I do remember Bellsprout, Weepin' Bell, and Victor Bell. I do remember that. Derek says, I'm loving how all of your uh, Pokemon get experienced at the same time. Me too. I like that. Oh, that's right, Derek. You said you were going to be celebrating Lunar New Year today. Well, I wish you a, a, a good celebration when you get to it. Ah, look! Oh, Derek says that Burmy have three different kinds of cloaks. Plant, Sandy, and Trash. They de devolve into Worm, 
Wormadam, and then into Motham. Interesting. Derek, I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I always appreciate you coming by and sharing the, the Pokemon lore. Awesome. Lunar New Year, Derek. Yes, thanks for thanks for watching. He's going to catch up on the videos on YouTube. Derek is saying there's new characters announced for King Fighters 15. Brock Howard, Beast Howard, Vijane, Gato, Billy Kane, and Ryuji Yamazaki will be DLC in March. Interesting. I wonder if they'll be sold as teams or if they'll be sold all in like a season pass or how it'll work. Uh, I guess we'll find out as we get closer. Maybe there is details, but quite frankly, as exciting as that sounds, I really would like to focus on Pokemon tonight and not just talk about King of Fighters all night. You know, that is true. Derek says you probably won't ever have to catch Snorlax. A bunch of will, will evolve into Snorlax eventually. Good point. Okay. Derek says a little Pokemon trivia. Actually, did it actually catch a Gumi in the show. Two evolutions, Sligo and Gudra. All right. All right. Derek is curious if we can put Pikachu and Scyther in the party. Perhaps we can. Let's let's find out here. Scyther sounds like it's pretty, pretty good. It seems pretty strong. Derek says, what about Pikachu, Scyther, Silicoon, and Happiny in the party? All right, let's see. Let's. We're going to have to go back to the camp, I think. That's what we're doing now. When we go back to that camp, um, I think we can make the party. But wait a minute. Weren't there... Derek says, are you talking about Trubbish and Garbodor? There's two? I only remember there being one big, big garbage Pokemon. But I guess there's more than one. Derek is the expert on this, not me. Okay. Derek, we're going to switch right now. He says, maybe you switch characters in the second half of the stream. We're doing it right now. Who do we want? I want to... Derek is saying that Happiny will evolve two more times. Let me take a look at Happiny. See, here's my problem with Happiny. All right? It's only fair. Jiffaloon, I like, I like having that double... The double classes. It gives more... It gives more opportunity to have a weakness or something in combat. Like, for example, Machop has fighting but also steel. Munchlax has psychic but also ground and rock. Pikachu has lightning for now, but I believe later on he gets some really good normal attack. Um, Bug, flying. See? Fire, rock. But Happening is only one class. It kind of makes me not like Happening. Alright, how about this? We will do it for now and see what happens. If I'm not pleased, if I'm not happy with happening, then happening's going back to the box. <laughs> we'll see what happens, okay? We'll give it a try. <laughs> it's raining where Derek is, it's raining where Mythical is, it's raining everywhere. Apparently the whole world just got overcome with rain. Derek, yeah, I guess so. That's a staple of the show, right? He says it's amazing that Ash and Pikachu remain friends like forever since the beginning of the Pokemon series. I mean, they were that was like the first plot was that Ash meets a, meets a Pikachu, befriends the Pikachu, and the Pikachu becomes his personal friend. Even though other people in the universe have Pikachus as well, this particular Pikachu becomes like a close friend rather than like, like a trainer relationship. This Pikachu is always out of his ball, which is odd because everyone else keeps their Pokemon in balls, but not this particular Pikachu, right? It is a little weird and different, but I think they felt that Pikachu was so cute he could be the mascot of the whole series, and that's why they kind of did that. Um... But yeah, you know, there always was a special relationship between Ash and his Pikachu. And now, here we are many years later, and I'm sure Ash has caught many other Pika uh, many other Pokemon and stuff over the years. But I'm, oh shit, that's a nice one. But I'm sure that they still has, he still has that special relationship with the original Pikachu, right? That's right. Uh, so first of all, Kevin did a super chat and he says, Pikachu, excuse me, he didn't say that. Derek said, Pikachu look different in the original anime. He did. I agree with you. Wasn't he, like, much chubbier? He had a much different design and appearance. They changed him over the years. Um, Derek says he always liked Krolava. It's one of his favorite types. Well, I'm glad to hear that. This Derek says Misty still has her side up to this day. Seriously, from season one? She still has the season one side up, huh? Derek says Cleavor evolves from Scyther when exposed to a black augurite. It is one of Scyther's final forms. The other being Sizor, the Pokemon that is red. All right. That's right, Derek. So I played, that's right, I played Ruby. Then I played Moon. Then I played Sword and Shield. Is that correct? I didn't play another Pokemon game in between there. And then recently I played Pokemon Snap, although I don't consider that a real mainstream Pokemon game. It's very different. Um, but this is the first mainstream Pokemon game that's intentionally designed to play much differently from the classic formula, turn-based stuff. Alright. Derek is wondering who my favorite Eevee evolution is. I don't really have one. I always forget what they are. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, 
We're reaching the end of the stream, and now I'm being told there's an imposter, Derek. It's like, dude, it's the end of the fucking stream, man. We're nearing the end. Do I really want to fucking deal with this now? Of course I don't. It's incredibly fucking annoying. We're at the tail end of the fucking stream, and I gotta deal with this bullshit. Some fucking brainless idiot thinks he's fucking funny, when in reality... All right. Well, there's nothing I can do about it right now. I can't right now. All right. If it continues, I can stop it, but I can't fix it now. So, good lord. Derek, you have a good night. I will see you Thursday night for more Pokemon. Indeed. Thank you. Derek says that Machamp was always a cool-looking Pokemon, even in the original Pokemon game. I think so. And, of course, when he evolves, he basically looks like a pro wrestler, which is kind of neat. Especially because CM Fool wanted me to name a Pokemon The Rock, so I said, why not the, one, the, the Pokemon that becomes a pro wrestler? So it worked out. Derek says, I really enjoyed you playing Pokemon Tournament, or Poking Tournament, excuse me, a couple years ago. Actually, it was a very long time ago. That was the Wii U days, Derek. Do you don't remember? So the Switch came out in 2017, uh, five years ago, and that was like years before the Switch, so we're talking like seven, eight years ago, probably. Um, but I, I liked that game a lot. And I agree with you. I think I wish they would make another po Pokin fighting game like that. I think it was an original concept that was really well executed. I'm actually surprised they didn't make another one because I thought it sold well for the Wii U. What I mean by that is the Wii U games never sold well because no one had a Wii U. But for people who had it, I thought it had sold pretty damn good. Derek says, Pokemon Moon, I remember you started tw November 2016, ended in January 2017. Yeah, I actually remember I had a wicked sore throat during that playthrough. And I still was fucking streaming it and doing the voice acting even though my throat was killing me. <clears throat> Derek says, do I remember any of the gym leaders from Pokemon Blue? The only one I would remember uh, is, uh, is it Gary? Uh, not Gary. Um, yeah, the, the rock trainer who ends up being a friend of, of Ash and Misty in the cartoon. It's not, is it in Gary? I can't remember his fucking name now. Whoever that is, he was a trainer in the original game and then the cartoon he, become, he was your ally. But I can't remember his name right now. Brock, why the hell I think his name was Gary? Yeah, Brock. Yeah, Brock's the rock trainer, right? Yeah. Can we name him after fans if they're okay with it? Only if they're okay with it. Yes. I want. I don't want you... Like, for example, no, I don't want someone naming certain Pokemon Derek without Derek's permission, and then Derek's like, damn, I wish people wouldn't keep saying my name and, and you know, basically teasing me. That's not allowed, okay? Derek, no, in particular, I don't remember the, any of those other gym leaders. Just, just the the boss, right? Giovanni was the boss of Team Rocket. That I remember. I don't remember anyone else. Derek says that he and his friends were heavily into Pokemon card collecting back in the day. Cool. So Derek says Roselia evolved from the Badoo and evolved into Roserade. Okay, good to know. Oh, they do. Derek says they already have a season of Pokemon anime based on this game. They fucking do. That was fast, huh? Derek says Brock returns too in the anime. I didn't even know Brock ever left. So, <laughs> all right, let's fight him. Derek says, James from Team Rock has a carnivine, and every time it comes out to battle, it loves to chew on James's head. It's quite unfortunate. Earlier today, Jasper was chewing on my beard. He loves to do that. He loves to, he comes up to my face, and he starts licking my beard. I'm like, Jasper, that's not, that's not animal hair you're, like, you know, licking. That's my actual face. Derek says, his friend was really good at Pokemon Go catching nine Dragonites at a park. Hmm. I don't remember if I ever, ever caught a Dragonite when I played Pokemon Go. Derek says, Ash currently has a Gengar, Lucario, Surfetch, and Dragonite in his current party in the anime. Interesting. Derek says, a little Pokemon trivia. Once last to the Pikachu you metronome, which is a random move on you. That's right, it's completely random. You don't know what you're getting, right? That's right. So, Derek says, here's a little bit of Pokemon trivia. Ash caught a g Gibble in the Diamond and Pearl anime that uses Draco Meteor, but the move he's landing on... Piplup, who is the Pokemon of one of Ash's friends. That sucks. Wrote knows there's a fake Derek. Uh oh. All right, hold on. <sighs> How stupid. Now we gotta pause the whole fucking stream. 
because we got a loser, a fucking loser, who has to impersonate another chatter. So I apologize, everyone. Yes, I actually have to waste time doing this. I have to do this, and I have to go over here. I have to click on this. I have to do this. I have to do that there. And then I'm here, so I have to do this. Then type that. Type this. Okay, this here. Then this. Then I scroll down. I go to this. And I go here. And I scroll up here to this. And I look here. And then I go up here. And then I look at this. And I click on this. I look here. And here I go here. I say, this is the fake Derek. And I block user. And I ban the motherfucker from the stream. And I laugh. Ha ha ha, you piece of shit. That's what you get for insulting and, and copying another fucking chatter. Go fuck yourself. And now we can get back to the stream. Yes, Derek, I'm going with I'm going with the lore that Ash Ketchum, our, our protagonist, is actually the, the ancestor of Ash. I'm going with that. Derek says there was a Pokemon named Unown, and there were 26 Unown based on the Latin alphabet. Weird. Yes, Derek says that, that Tangrowth evolves from Tangela. I do remember that. Derek says he cannot wait for the next Pokemon stream on Sunday night. These are, I agree with you, these are very chill fun. I enjoy these streams with you guys. Derek says Pokemon that evolved from the Firestone, Eevee and Deflarian, Growlithe and Arcanine, and Vulpix and the Nine Tails. Alright, I don't have any of those right now, so. Derek says Hippo Hippopotus evolves into Hippowden, and Crowbill evolves into Toxicroak. Very nice. Derek, you have a good night, man. Gastly was a really cool Pokemon back in Gen 1, right? Says Derek. Well, I mean, Gastly was the first ghost Pokemon I think anyone ever encountered, right? I didn't even uh, know what a ghost Pokemon was, and I see this thing, like, what the hell? And then you realize how different it is from other Pokemon, which is kind of neat. Yes, Derek says, if you remember, Psyduck will revolve into a giant blue duck named Gold Duck. Gold Duck, but it's blue. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. You reminded me that the Pokemon, I need to move my camera, because it will be blocking a lot of the combat stuff. Thank you very much for that. But I'm trying to think, I guess I'll do it, like, here. Right there. Lower it a little bit more than where I would usually put it. Thank you very much for the heads up. Oh, Derek says Azumarill is not a mouse. It's actually known as the Aqua Rabbit. I always thought they were mouse mice. I totally thought they were mice. Okay, so Derek says it's pronounced Pachirisu. Pachirisu. Derek says it knows a, new, a move is called Super Fang. Use the Super Fang. Roselia evolves into Roserade. For Derek. Nice. Okay. Derek says, you definitely deserve breaks and eat food after your first stream to get ready for your night stream. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, Derek. Really, I do. Oh, do I like these battles? Derek says, do I like the tougher battles? Yeah, I think they're fun because they're challenging. It's like a mini boss fight, right? It's not necessary for the story, but I think it's fun to try to figure out how to do it. Derek, the way it works is agile attack is a quick attack that does less damage, but essentially you can attack more often. While Strong Style is a, hard, a tougher attack that deals more damage, but then you get less turns. I guess the catch is if you want to finish a Pokemon right away, use the Strong Attack, and then try to catch it or maybe defeat it before it gets a chance to hit you. That's that's what I'm guessing. Give it again. Thank you, Derek. He says, congrats on getting that Tangrowth. I'm getting tired of the impersonators. Me too, Derek. Are there impersonators here tonight? If there are, I'll take care of them. You just gotta let me know if they're here, and then I'll, uh, I'll take a look. Do you have some impersonators here, Derek? If so, I'll have to set this up. Here we go. Let's see here tonight. Oh, this music is good. I like this music. Okay. So, here we go. I got it set up. If an imposter rears their ugly head, please let me know. And uh, I'll take care of that. I now have it set up so that I can get rid of imposters on the stream. Okay? So you let me know, Derek. You let me know what's going on, man. Okay? I don't want anyone harassing you. Carlito's back, baby. Says, Someone said you only talked to one chatter and you timed him out just now. No. The person there was, in, was being insulting. They were saying, gee, only Derek gets talked to or people who are contributing. How do I get special treatment? 
That's insulting. Number one, it's completely false. Not only are you insulting Derek, you're now insulting me as a streamer, and you're saying falsified statements. That's not even criticism. That's just being fucking rude. You're lying to insult me and say that I'm doing something I'm not doing. I'm ta How many people am I talking to? I'm talking to you right now. Carlito's back, baby. So how could what he said be factually true? <laughs> if you're going to come here on the stream and make falsified slanderous statements, yeah, sorry, you'll probably get timed out and or banned because you're an asshole. That's different than, oh, you know, I think Phil's stream would be better if he did this or this. That's different. That's criticism. The problem is people don't even understand what criticism is. Coming here and saying, Phil is an a is, does this wrong and this wrong and this wrong and it's all factually wrong is not criticism. <laughs> it's not. How dumb can you be to think that? <clears throat> okay. So, okay. Wait, what? People are saying Derek can't chat? Why, what happened? Did I, did he get banned? Did I accidentally ban the wrong, uh, uh, an incorrect Derek? At some point? Hold on a second. Or maybe it wasn't me. Hold on. Because there are other moderators here as well. Perhaps a Derek was accidentally blocked. That was the real Derek. Let me I have to scroll up and uh let's see. Uh I'm scrolling all the way up and I don't see anything at all. When the hell did he get blocked? If he did get blocked. Let me okay. So there's one there. Yep. <clears throat> I think. Okay, I see what happened. I see what happened. I know exactly what happened. Here we go. Derek, if you could try chatting and give it a second, and we'll see if it fixed itself. I think I know what happened. All right, let's continue. Derek, I tried to unban you, but I'm not seeing you chat in the change stream chat right now. So I don't know if it's un if it worked or not, the unban. I tried it, though. All right, so now what? Derek is back. Derek is back. He says, the Pokemon is called Unown. I told you earlier that there are 26 of them based on the Latin alphabet. Oh, that's right. I do remember you told me that. I forgot about that. Cool. No, there was no Rogue Mod. Here, okay, here's what happened. Someone came into the chat with an insulting name about Derek. Derek repeated the name and said, can you get rid of this account and said the insulting name, but the, that name is not allowed. And and basically, Bear, Derek was moderated for saying the word when in reality, he wasn't trying to say it. He was reiterating the name of the account. You see, that's what happened. Oh my goodness. Derek says, do you have any favorite Weird Al songs? Oh, uh, that album, he had an album in the 90s and I loved the album, but now I can't remember which album it was. <laughs> it had so many cool, fun songs on it. Derek, my favorite Weird Al parody songs were mostly the ones from the 80s. Like, he would do, like, I'm uh, I'm Fat, or uh, Eat It. Eat It when he's eating the giant sub. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, he did all those parodies of popular pop music in the 80s. Those are my favorites. Derek says some of his favorite Weird Al, Weird Al parodies. Another one, Rides the, bu Rides the Bus. I never heard that one. Uh... Like a Surgeon. Oh, I remember Like a Surgeon. I have totally forgot about that one. Um, excuse me. Where did it go? <laughs> I was reading it and it scrolled off the screen. I can't find it. Derek, now I can't find your message. Where did it go? The whole sc sc scrolled and I lost it. I lost it. Where is it? I was reading it. It's gone. I have no idea. I was reading. Oh, you retracted it, Derek. I was in the middle of reading it. Okay. <laughs> Another one rides the bus like a surgeon. White and nerdy. I've heard white and nerdy before. Smells like Nirvana. Oh, that's the classic. That's what he rips off. Smells like Teen Spirit. Living with a hernia. I've never heard that one. And girls just want to have lunch. I've never heard that one either. Uh, oh. Derek, you have a good night. Thanks for chilling with me tonight. Good evening, Derek. How are you? Good to see you here tonight. Okay. Derek says, I'm happy you have Ralts. Gardevoir is one of my favorite Pokemon. Cool. 
And Ralt seems really good, both Psychic and Fairy, so two really unique, uh, uh, you know, mobility types. That's right, Derek. Uh, the Rhyhorn is the lowest level of a triple evolution. He says it's first Rhyhorn, then Rhydon, then Rhyperiod. Rhyperiod. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Derek says that originally Brock had a pseudo voodoo who was evolved from a Bonsley. In the anime, that is. And Derek says this is going to be Roserade, this Pokemon here. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you, Derek. He says congrats on getting that. Yeah, that was a good catch. Level freaking 50. That's right. Derek says Shelter is that big purple shell Pokemon with a giant tongue sticking out, and it becomes Cloister. That's right. I remember. It's like a living clam. I'm glad that you're here, Derek, for the trivia. I really appreciate you being here and doing some Pokemon trivia. It's nice. It adds to the streams. Derek, thank you for voting on the polls of the community tab. Good time to remind everyone. This coming Saturday is my Game Pass Marathon event. And so please vote on the community tab of this channel, DSP Gaming, for the games you want to see during the marathon. There's ten in the running, and the top three are guaranteed to be played. The top five, like basically fourth and fifth, are maybes, depending on time constraints. So thank you for reminding me there, Derek. It's pronounced Mochi. Okay, I'll say it Mochi. Thank you, Derek. I'll say Mochi. Cool. Derek says he's had mango and vanilla Mochi. I have never had Mochi. I've seen it in stores and stuff, but I've never tried it myself. Oh, there's a fake Derek? Okay. I'll get him. I got him. I got the fake. Jason, have a good night. Thanks for chilling. I'll see you later. Sounds good. I got him, Derek. I got the stupid imposter. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Derek, yeah, I heard a lot is going on with AEW Wrestling tonight. I'm not in on the news. I'm going to catch up with it after the stream. So, All right. Oh, no. Derek says it's another imposter fucking Derek tonight. Ugh. All right, hold on. Enough of this. We're taking care of this right fucking now. I'm not putting up with this shit. I'm not. I just want to have a chill Pokemon tree. I'm not putting up with this fucking bullshit from these fucking no-life idiots. So let's fix this immediately. <clears throat> okay. Putting an end to this shit. Alright. Derek, if this person speaks again, let me know, the imposter, and I will take care of it. I have it available now to take care of this imposter, but I had to load it first. Now it's loaded, so... Okay. <clears> hey, <throat> guess what, Derek? I got that imposter. I just got him for you. I noticed he had said something, and I went and I snagged, snagged him. Got his ass. So he's out of here. Cool. No more imposter Derek's tonight. Fuck that. <laughs> okay. Derek, is there another imposter? Because I see two messages came up back to back. He says, "I see your." He says, "My your mom makes this best Chinese curry." And then it says, "My mom got my haircut when I was a kid." How were the hair salons back then? She cut my hair when I was very young. Then after that, I started going to a, a, a barber, a formal barber. But my mom liked my my hair long and with a side part. And then when I got older, I said, fuck that, just shave it off. And I started getting a crew cut when I actually started to, I, I was able to make that choice for myself. So, okay. The curry comment is a fake one? Okay. Where the fuck these fake Derricks are coming from? It's ridiculous. Yes, King of Fighters is next week, Derek. That's correct. That is absolutely correct. All right. Yes, that is a fake Derek. And Derek, I know that's a fake Derek. You want to know how, how I know? Because I know that you would never ask to be a mod. You're not interested. You told me many times you're not interested in being a moderator, so I knew that was a fake. All right, Derek, you have a good night, and thank you for chilling with me for, for Pokemon. It was fun. Annoying. Derek says it's pronounced A-Palm. Okay, so not A-Palm. It's A-Palm. Ah, okay. Derek says, here's a little bit of Pokemon trivia. Hold on. Uh, Ash caught I a palm, but then he traded it with his friend and her Booziel, and that's how Booziel became Ash's Pokemon in the Diamond and Pearl anime. So there you go. They actually trade in the anime. That's interesting. Derek says, Eevee is one of the rarest Pokemon to capture the game. So I, well, I was right. When it got scared away because the stupid Murkrow attacked me, I got completely screwed over, and I had an opportunity to catch it, and now I can't. I have to wait for it to respawn. That sucks. Yes, I remember the Dragon Ball Z theme aired Derek. In fact, I remember many different ones because there were many different Dragon Ball Z themes over the years. That is. Um, Derek says Motim is the final evolved form of Burmy. Okay.
Right, Derek. See, these newer areas all have different berries. This is the problem. I need the basic berries. Maybe, maybe if you go back to town, you could just buy the basic stuff. I don't know. But I'm thinking I, I'm going to have to try something. So Derek says, Celio evolves from Sphio, but then becomes a walrus-style Pokemon. It's called Walrein. So it starts starts as a seal, turns into a walrus. How, how does that work? <laughs> a totally different species, huh? Yes, Derek, I do like the Dragon Ball V Japanese theme song. Chala head chala. Remember that? Derek says, that is the Hisuian Typhlosion. It's fire and ghost type. It looks different than the regular Typhlosion from other games. Ah. Yeah, Derek, I hear you. He says he's depressed that Eevee ran away because the other Pokemon attacked. It was the Murkrow. The annoying Murkrow. The Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Ninetales are ice types, says Derek. Alolan. This is not Alolan, right? We're in Hisuian. So these will be different. Derek says he loves that I do one-hour videos and I name them. I do my best. I didn't used to do that for the longest time. And then people were like, you know, we like it when people name the videos. It makes them feel more original and, like, effort was put in. A little bit of a highlight of what's in that video. Like, you know, of course, I'm not going to do put giant story spoilers and stuff in the title. But at least you have a general idea of maybe what happened in that video. And if it's one you want to check out, especially if it's a long series or a lot of videos for one day. Um, Derek says, see, I really love your videos from your original Vice City playthrough. But I have no idea where the good parts are because back then you didn't name them. You're absolutely right. If I don't name them, how would you ever remember, like, what's the standout moment? Derek says, "Is that that is a his 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 Hizuian Growlithe that Paulina has? That's why it has the big beard. It has like a big beard and hair. It looks like it's covered in its eyes. Definitely looks different from the Growlithe that's a standard Growlithe, right?" Derek says, "There might be a fake human chat." Derek, right now, unless we see that Derek talking a lot, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm not gonna do anything until. We do see this person misbehaving. Right now, I don't see anyone misbehaving, so. Okay. Oh, wait, it's not a gender. Derek had explained this to us previously. The Burmese are all different kinds depending on the kind of leaves that are on them. So this had a different leaf, a different type of leaf, and therefore it looked different from the other Burmese. And you could catch up to six different ones, right? I believe that's what Derek had said previously. <laughs> Derek says, I love that you got Typhlosion and Gardevoir and put them in your party. Yes, of course. They're awesome. So Derek says, Burmy have three different cloaks. Pink is trash, yellow is sandy, green is plants. So that was a trash Burmy. Weird. Dustox is the final evolved form of Wurmple. Because he thought she was going to get a Beautify, but her Wurmple evolved into Cascoon, not Silcoon, says Derek. Okay. Thank you, Derek, for the little trivia there. Kevin, Derek does not want to be mo uh, modded, so please don't say something silly like that. All right, Derek, I'll see you Thursday for King of Fighters all day long, man. Hopefully you can join me whenever you can because it's going to be a great day of it. King of Fighters all day. Uh, <clears throat> Derek says, Chata is a bird Pokemon that will copy what the person is saying. Shout out likes copying, like a parrot. I see. Derek says that Duskops is the second evolution of Duskull. And it evolves into Dusk Noir. So it still has another evolution to Dusk Noir. Interesting. Okay, uh, Derek says, I noticed that your Glammeow in your box evolves into a Perugly. So you saw a Glammeow. I see. Derek says, what are some of my favorite movies Ivan Reitman produced and directed? Well, off the top of my head, Ghostbusters is always going to be my favorite. Because Ghostbusters is my favorite comedy of all time. Oh, here it is. Um... Animal House, I've always said, is also one of my favorite comedies. That's a really good movie, and he produced that one. He didn't direct that one. He produced it. Um, Derek says, when Psyduck evolves into Golduck, it's weird. A yellow duck evolves into a blue duck. Yeah, they just completely change color and body type. Weird. Derek says that Basculesion will evolve from a white-striped Basculin after losing at least 294 HP and recoil damage, not counting damage that results in fainting. Holy fuck. Derek says there's also red and blue-striped types of Basculin, and they, are, they do not evolve. Interesting. That's right. WWE did have a stupid Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. I remember Derek. Bro, can we take care of a Derek impersonator? Is there seriously a Derek impersonator tonight? What kind of a fucking no-life, limp dick, prepubescent, <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> I won't even finish my thought. How about that?
Oh, here we go. Okay. I got the tool in place working now. So if this imposter says something, I'll be able to identify the imposter and I'll spank them like this. Like that. I'll actually, on the stream, just start spanking. You'll hear butt cheek claps like this. That's me spanking the imposter. But I can't do it yet. I have to wait for them to speak and then I can get those fucks. Okay. Ah, uh, so as a follow-up, Derek says, I remember I meant Dredden produced Kindergarten Cop, didn't know that. Stopper, my mom, shoot, I didn't know that. Beethoven, I didn't know that. Twins, I didn't know that. Meatballs, I knew. That one I knew. Six Days, Seven Nights, I've never even seen, so I don't know about that. Road Trip, I didn't know that. Euro Trip, I didn't know that. Wow, I saw tons of those movies and liked them. Derek says, who are my, some of my favorite p movie producers and directors? Uh, Peter Jackson, especially for his original masterpiece dead alive one of the best movies ever made actually it's actually a terrible zombie movie really over the top fake gore and campiness um but then he went on to make really good movies Derek says I love the Pikachu app because I love Pokemon me too I think it's silly very good Derek says did you see the Spielberg movies E.T. and the Goonies in theaters not in theaters I saw them at home I never saw those in theaters did you love going to the movies when you were a kid? I did enjoy going to the movies with my parents when I was a kid. I thought it was very fun. Now, wait a minute. How are there two Derek's saying that back to back? Someone's a fake. No, no, no. Someone's a fake, and someone's about to pay. Someone's about to get it. This is why I set up the tool, and now it's time to use it. I'm using the tool right now. Ready? I got it. I got the imposter. The imposter is blocked. Okay. There you go. The imposter has been fucking blocked. So fuck you, person who wants to fucking block, be impossible, imp imposter, fucking pasta imposter. He is paralyzed. Yeah, I know, Derek. You didn't ask about the Steven Spielberg movies. I know you didn't. It was the imposter, the asshole. Derek says, hopefully I'll hit 200k subscribers before my birthday. I hope I do, but at this point, it's not looking very good. Um, This week, just in the last two days, we have over 100 new subs here on the channel, which is excellent. The new games are bringing in new subs, just not at a highly accelerated rate. Like, I think when I play Elden Ring, maybe we'll get a few hundred new subs, if that. But I, you know, we are growing steadily, by the way. Don't get me wrong. We are growing steadily, but we're just not growing at that accelerated rate. Do I remember Voltorb and Electrode? Yes, I do, Derek. Derek, you have a good night. Thank you for chilling with me, man. Appreciate that. Huh, Derek says, do I miss my full circle beard from 2013? You know, my beard, it's not that I can't grow my beard full like I did. It's that it looks terrible because most of my beard hairs are white now. So if I grow it out, it looks really bad. Like, it looks patchy and bad. If I were to grow it uh, thicker. So usually now when I shave, I shave it way down to just like a base shape. But I don't leave it like out anymore like I used to. I used to grow it out. Remember I used to grow way deeper down here. And it used to be much fuller and thicker and darker. But what happens when you get old? You know, your hair starts to turn white. Nothing you can do about it. So. It's pronounced Miss Dreyus. Oh, Miss Dravis. Says Derek. Thank you, Derek. Miss Dravis. Oh. Uh, it's not Destin, it's Destiny's Bond. Oh, okay, Derek. Sorry, I got it wrong. Derek, that's true. He says, even Tekken Tag Tournament 2 had special modes like survival mode and some other optional offline modes, which King of Fighters 15 doesn't have. King of Fighters 15 has nothing. It's just sit in a training mode, do the missions, and play arcade. That's it. There's, they didn't put any effort into the game besides the online play, which is bad. So that's pretty bad. That's pretty much a ripoff, in my opinion. Oh, Derek says you can use the Oval Stone to evolve Happening into a Chansey. I see. So I could basically buy that with my merit points and then evolve my happening. Got it. That was the Sandy version of Wormadum, says Derek. Uh, Derek says, Ingo and his brother Emmett are in the black and white anime. They're subway captains. <laughs> it must not be the same person. Then if they're in this, this is the prequel, right? For so long ago. Um, Golbat. Okay, that's the bigger one is Golbat. Derek has corrected me. Thank you, Derek. Derek says, Jason Page is the person... Who originally performed the Pokemon theme song on the show and was asked to perform it at many conventions and even showed up on YouTubers page and all kinds of stuff. I'm not surprised to hear that. 
The song was very popular amongst kids at the time. Seriously, I know all the Pokemon theme songs because I've watched all the animes. I've only seen the original. That's it. I don't know any other songs. Derek says that the space-time distortions in this area have fossil Pokemon and Rowlet. Interesting. Derek, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing with uh, WWE. <laughs> Derek said, Toasty! From Mortal Kombat. Damn, yeah, Toasty is right. Here we go. You know, Derek, I knew that at once. He's on YouTube. There's a video from 10 years ago. It got over 800,000 views. Dan Ford and explained where the Toasty comment came from in Mortal Kombat. I, I knew it in the 90s. I read it in a gaming magazine. And now I can't remember what, what it was. They thought of a, It was some weird, obscure inside joke, if I remember correctly. And they put it in. And everyone liked it in the game, how silly it was. So it ended up being a staying thing in the Mortal Kombat franchise. Even though it doesn't really make much sense, right? Derek says, Golduck is one of the hardest Pokemon to catch. Is it really? Huh. Derek says, the Murkrow evolves into Honchkrow. What a weird name. Derek says, you find crunchy salt here in the Coronet Highlands. Okay. Really? Derek says, oh my god, look at this score. Look at this thing. Why does he get two turns? That's not even fair. It gets two turns in a row for no good reason. Derek is saying there's going to be a, a, a Canadian version of, of uh, America's Got Talent called Canada's Got Talent. Tommy Mandel, Trish Stratus, Lily Singh, Cardinal Official, and Lindsay Ellie, or L. I only know Trish Stratus and Howie. I've never heard of the others. <laughs> so it is a flying scorpion, said Derek. Oh, well, I guess that explains why it looks like a flying scorpion. Derek says, Ash had a glue score in the Diamond and Pearl anime. It was a glue Gligar. Very shine, didn't know how to fly. <clears throat> Derek says, the Gligar pink flying scorpion evolves into glue score. That's the one that we had fought. One is pink, the other is dark gray. So there's two colors. Oh. Right from here, Derek says, uh, I'm off to watch the new episode from Pokemon Anime. Happy I could be here for tonight. I'm happy you were here as well, man. Thank you. Uh, Derek, no, I don't think I caught a gibble. I don't think I caught a gibble. That doesn't sound familiar. Okay. Yes, uh, Derek, I had already said that. It was a uh, elect. Oh, wait, he's saying the boss Pokemon is Electivire. You mean the uh, Alpha Pokemon. That's the final of Warfound, uh, Warfound of Elect Kid. And the middle was that Electabuzz. Okay, I wish I could have caught it. Oh, Derek says, what's the Pokemon intro? So, I'd say about a week and a half ago, someone made me a custom intro for the chill Pokemon streams where right before I would start with the gameplay, it's a, it's a, actually a, oh, which one was it? I think it's of a champ. And he's uh, standing around, and he has a, a baseball cap on, and he's talking about, oh, welcome to the Pokemon stream, and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, Phil's going to try to catch them all, and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of neat. It's a really neat intro. It's just a shame that uh, I completely forgot about the damn thing. Derek says, do you prefer Know Your Enemy or Boulevard of Broken Deems or American Idiot? Uh, probably American Idiot out of those three. Although I like the old, the old classic Green Day stuff much better than any of that. Derek, I think I saw your crunchy salt comment. I think you said that it's at the tops of the cliffs of Celestica Ruins. So I guess we can try to go over there. Derek, you transform into the Pokemon. That's the, the gimmick, is that you get different transportation Pokemon and you transform into them. Yes, Derek, I have had Salisbury steaks before. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Not the best, of course, because it is kind of processed meat, right? It's not like uh, an uncut piece of red meat, but it's still tasty. Derek, I don't really necessarily remember most of the lyrics of Blue Heart of Broken Jesus signs. I walk alone, I walk alone. <laughs> and it's something about his shadow is the only one who walks beside him or something like that. Pretty sad, depressing lyrics. Ride on! Ride, ride and turns into Rhyperior, says Derek. Is that was the alpha Pokemon I encountered before. Derek says, oh, wow. Derek says, nose pass, as well as the evolve form, Probo Pass. Both have big noses, and it reminds me of the character Schnozman from Schnozman A Hole Punch, which John Rambo made back in the day. Many people probably don't even remember that. But, uh, I mean, all right, maybe. I was thinking more of the real character of Rambo from the movies, you know. But I don't know who would fit that. Thank you, Derek. Congrats on finally finding this crunchy soul. Here we go. Derek says he didn't know Ash was voiced by a female at first. <clears throat> Isn't this a running pattern? Where the young male characters in most cartoons are actually voiced by women. 
I think that's true. Uh, sounds good, Derek. Yes, I'll see you Thursday night. There'll be more on Thursday. I said that we'd be headed somewhere even colder. Derek, you have a good night, man. Thanks for chilling tonight. Appreciate that. Oh, look at this. Catch them all. Just did a $25 tip. For some odd reason, there's no pop-up. No one saw a tip pop-up, right? The tip just came through, but there was no tip pop-up. I don't know why. It's legit. So they said, I'm going to pass naming rights to Derek. I know he's a bigger Pokemon fan than I am. I've always been told he's better to give. To, it's better to give than to receive. Looking forward to tonight's stream. God bless. Wow, Derek, did you hear that? So super shout-out and thank you to Catch Them All. What a nice person, right? What a nice person. Um... This person is passing naming rights. They want Derek to actually name a Pokemon. That's so nice. Derek, congratulations. And uh, I hope you pick a good one for, for uh, you know, next time here. Think about who you want to name. You might not know yet. I remember we'll catch a new one tonight, Derek, that you want to name. Um, and, and, you know, we'll go from there. So think about it, okay? Catch them all. Thank you so much for the $25 tip. Derek, the ball's in your court to name a Pokemon. All right? Now we have a different Derek who did a super chat and said, Derek's rise up. This guy's name is spelled differently than our, our usual Derek, though. <laughs> Derek is wondering, do I have any fighting Pokemon? Uh, I think I do. You know what? Are we in a good position to look at that? I think we are, right? Uh, fighting type? I'm trying to think. Well, we just put, caught three different Machokes, one of which is level 50. Um, I'm trying to think who has fighting type. Not him, right? No, not Toxicro. Uh, some of these I don't recognize. No, I don't see any... Can you sort in this game? Search. Hold on. Uh, types. Fighting. There you go. So, here we go. I guess that technically Toxicro is, is characterized as fighting, even though he doesn't have any fighting moves. Uh, oh, here we go. We just got the Riolus. We got two of them. Uh, and they're, of course, going to turn into Lucario later. Lower the lower evolution, the uh, Machop, but he's already named. He's already the Rock, so it wouldn't be him. The lower uh, evolution of Toxicroak, Croagung. That's it. Wow, I got only Toxicroak and Machoke. That is it. I don't have any other fighting Pokemon. Wow, are they rare in this game or something? I call all these Pokemon. I only have two. Well. You don't have much to go on there, Derek, if you're looking to name a, a fighting Pokemon. God damn. Oh, all right, Derek wants to name Machoke Cesaro. He sadly left WWE. He was his favorite wrestler. Well, there you go. You know what? It looks like Derek is going to get the jump on things. Normally, what I would do is I would wait and stream. But I think tonight, we'll just jump the gun and we'll do it. So, who do we want to get out in order to put him in? I would say, you know what? Let's get rid of Broke Ice, because Broke Ice already has fighting. Yeah, let's get rid of Broke Ice. And let's get in. Who's the high? This is a level 50 Machoke? I think we'll probably get into level 50. Yeah. And then let's name him. To Cesaro. Sadly, his name probably won't be Cesaro anymore, no matter where he goes. Now that he's left WWE, he's probably going to be... Going back to Claudio Castagnoli, right? Derek is saying uh, the female Snorrent, that's the one that we caught that looks like a little teepee, uh, evolves into Frostlass, which we just fought, while the male Snorrent evolves into Glalie, which we just fought. So those are the two completely different evolutions of Snorrent. Thanks for the heads up, Derek. Cool. I have not seen another Eevee in the game. Derek at that time had confirmed for us that Eevee was actually one of the, the rarest Pokemon in this game. It's an incredibly rare spawn. And it would have been a great opportunity to catch it. And I got cheated out of it, basically, because of a random-ass spawn. That sucked. So Derek said, this is Perugly's the evolved form of Glammeow. Remember Glammeow from earlier in the game when we first found the cat with the curled tail? Derek hopes that Cesaro ends up in AEW. I personally just hope he ends up somewhere that he's happy. I mean, AEW now owns Ring of Honor. And isn't that where Cesaro had actually been making a name for himself previous to WWE? So, <clears throat> we'll see. Derek says, did I like memorizing things when I was little? Did I like it? No. But I had to do it a ridiculous amount for school. I had flashcards. My mom would drill me, you know, like a military sergeant. And uh, I would have to memorize everything to get straight A's. If I didn't, when I came home, I would. She, she would take a wet Italian noodle and she would lash it at me and slap me with the noodles. 
<laughs> of course. Mama Bonelli. She has slapped me with the noodles. She said, all you get the air man is a slap of your butt. Now, <laughs> get ready for Hyperior, Meg Mortar, and Electivire. All three of them. Jerks is in the Pokemon Journey anime. They have Rotom Phones, which is your Pokedex. Oh. So that's where, well, remember, you're absolutely right. In the previous, in the uh, recent Pokemon, Rotoms were your electronic devices, weren't they? I just thought of that. You're right. Dare guess there's another Pokemon game coming out later this year. A new one. It's a brand new one. That It's not a remake like last year's. What was last year's? Diamond and, and Pearl. And it's not one like this. It's an actual, legit, color Pokemon game. But apparently the, co the, the open world is like this. Like this game. <clears throat> Congratulations to Derek. Of course, it really was Catch Em All, but thank you, Derek, for naming my Machoke Cesaro. And of course, to anyone else who named it. Good evening, Derek. How you doing, man? Good to see you here tonight for the conclusion. Possible conclusion. Not a guarantee. Possible conclusion. Derek says this is a Gudra. Ash has a Gudra in Pokemon X and Y anime. He raises it as from a Gumi. It's the worst dragon type Pokemon. <laughs> Derek. You apparently have not been caught up on current events. You probably did not attend today's pre-stream podcast, did you? All right. I need to break the bad news to Derek. Derek, we are not playing WWE 2K22 this Friday because right now I'm so backlogged on the games that I'm currently playing. To start playing that game now would make no sense. It would just make it so that I can't make progress in anything. Um, what I told everyone this morning is that I will play it eventually. But what I want to do is wait a little bit until basically there's community created. My intent is when I play it, I not only want to do the showcase mode, because that's like the big thing for me is to play through the story. But then I might want to do a my career mode run, which I don't know what it's called in this one. But also I want to do sim matches. That's one of my major highlights is doing the sim matches. And if I buy it now, there will be no sim matches because none of the content will be available yet. People are just making their created content and uploading it now. Typically what would happen with WWE 2K games is that they would come out in like like October-ish and then people would have about a month or two months to upload their content and then I would do like a Christmas Sims with a fun Fantasy Royal Rumble, the King of Christmas because it gives people a couple of months to get their content up there to get it uploaded and all of that, okay? So I decided over the course of my day off and then this morning on the pre-stream podcast, it wouldn't make sense for me to get it now because number one, I would just be playing the story. I probably wouldn't even start my career. He says it's called My Rise this year. Oh, cool. Because uh, I can't. Like, I got to get further in the games I'm playing. We got to finish Pokemon. We got to get further in Horizon. We got to get further in uh, Elden Ring. That's the major focus right now. Because uh, what I'm going to understand, Elden Ring is anywhere from 60 to 100 hours, depending on how you play it. And I'm way behind most people playing the game. So it makes no sense for me to start playing a new one. So am I playing WWE 2K22 this week? I'm not. I've decided against it. I am playing it. The question is when, and the answer is I don't know. We got to see how this month goes. But I definitely want to play it, especially once maybe uh, more creative content is available for it, okay? Sucks, because I know, Derek, you're one of the people. I know, for example, off the top of my head, I can name a bunch of people like you, Jay, Abdullah, you know, among many are f wrestling fans. And you guys are, were really looking forward to me playing it this week. But when I started looking, I was like, dude, I'm 25 hours into freaking Elden Ring, and I'm just leaving the first area. I'm never going to get anywhere with these games if I don't focus on them. I can't juggle three, four, five games right now. I have to finish Pokemon and then focus on the games that I'm playing right now. So that's the deal. And I apologize. I know I was talking about I was going to play it for a couple of weeks now. And I had to make a tough decision. But I swear to you I'm playing it. I swear I will play it. I just don't know when yet. Okay, But I am interested in doing a My Career Run. I guess you're saying it's called My Rise. As well as the story mode, the showcase mode. And then do sim matches when I get a chance. Okay? All right. So Derek says that's one of the three late guardians in Sinnoh. And there's two more coming up. And they reside at the other two. Okay, we're going to go to the other two lakes and fight them, I guess. Der uh, uh, Kevin, you have a good night. Der uh, uh, Kevin, you have a good night. So Der uh, uh, Kevin, you have a good night. Derek says, Miss Britt. Azulf and Uxi are, the, are to drive humans away from them. They either erase their memories, lose emotions in three days, or lose willpower. Jeez. Derek, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you understand about the WWE situation. They said, 
if passing naming rights during the last Pokemon stream brought a smile to Derek, and if it made his day, week, or month, I consider that to be even more valuable. Here's to a fun chill stream, and God bless. I bet Derek is very appreciative that we're about to use Cesaro, the Pokemon that he chose to be named tonight for these boss fights. So thank you very much to catch them all, whoever you may be. I know Derek appreciated that. He even said a big thank you and everything last week, or last time we streamed. So thank you for that. Catch them all. That is evolved from Miss Venus, says Derek. Okay, we got... Cesaro's been great, Derek, so he just got the suck. And thank you, Derek, for the congratulations. <laughs> Derek says the other one is pa Palkia, another one of his legendary Pokemon in Sinnoh. This is Palkia, says Derek. But Commander, Derek, yes, the pizza we got yesterday was amazing. It was so good, and I loved it. It's absolutely delicious. I'm glad you were here tonight, Derek. You like DSP. Like, for instance, Derek. What the fuck is Derek gonna get out of this? You think Derek liked Rambo and Howard? Maybe, but he probably liked them because DSP liked them. I don't even know if Derek liked DSP, honestly. I think Derek's just part of DSP's community. I don't think he really liked them, though. Whatever the fuck that mean. The dude's like, what, 18, 19? And he's still like, like he don't have any money? Really? He's in college or some shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. Pull out your fucking wallet, Derek. If you're a real fan, you broke bitch. What? <laughs> Derek, Derek would say some goofy shit. Like tomorrow, Derek's gonna post in chat. I love the stream you did yesterday, Phil. Even though he wasn't even in the fucking chat during the whole stream. Derek sucks. He's. I'm not even gonna say anything. If I talk about Derek, I'm gonna get banned. So I'm not even gonna talk about him. And even if I wouldn't, it's not worth it. My mouth isn't worth to spend on Derek. That's why he watched porn. And they probably get paid more than me anyway.